Okay, so we're gonna put together a really simple crust here now. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, we're using the self-rising flour, so that has a baking powder in it, salt, and we'll add a little sugar for a little sweetness to the crust. But we're gonna stay awfully simple here. Here's a, here's, okay, now I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I've got two cups of self-rising flour here. You know, you can go to the website. If you don't have self-rising flour, you know, or you can use Bisquick, or, or you can uh, make it from scratch. It's easy to do. Again, I'm gonna add a little Truvia here. Just for a little sweetness. This is self-rising flour I'm using. I've got an egg right here. I'll put an egg, that's not what you'd usually think would go into a, a like a, a pie crust or uh, you know, a short crust or something that you would use for a tart. But the Germans like to do it. They also use a good amount of butter. We're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of butter. Melted butter there and then we're gonna mix this up. And you know we don't have to over mix it, so that's I'm not going to use like an electric beater. We'll just use a spoon here. It's just all it's very simple. And now we're gonna get we see we're gonna get sort of a pebbly effect there. little clumps, which is good. Then we're just gonna add, you can add a little milk or you can add a little white ice water like, like you might do for a pie crust. video off the cuff here and uh, if I was if I was to make this all up very staged and very planned I'd probably never get around to doing it so I hope you don't mind me just kind of winging it here you know I add, add a little water looks like we might need just a little bit more we want it just to kind of come together as a dough that we can push into the pan. See, it's getting there, but it's not quite a dough yet. I don't want to add too much either, so. So this is working out to be about a quarter cup of, of water. Work it with the hands, nice and easy. And now you see we've got a, a dough that we can work with. That we can press into our spring form pan. See, very nice. Now you can, you can either spray Or you can butter like I'm going to do here, our spring form pan. Just use my hands this time. I did wash them. Yeah, simple. And then we're just we're going to press this dough into the pan. Just using my fingers. You don't want it too thick. Of course, that all depends on how thick you like the dough. But 
we could use what's left over for a little bit of dumplings or I can wrap it around a plum, you know, with, with a, a, a filling. You take out the pit, dig out, scoop out the plum, and you can fill that with um, either like a flavored sugar cube or, or um, some uh, vanilla cinnamon, cinnamon bread crumbs, you know, that would go right in the center of the, the plum, put it back together and wrap it around pastry and bake it. Very good. Okay, so now we've got a nice little crust there. And I'm going to wash my hands. Just so I look a little bit more presentable. And so I'm just going to lay these plums out. On the dough, like like so. I, can you see that all right there? Maybe I could move it in a little bit closer. You know, sometimes they lay them down and make them in more of a curved. You know, sort of like like this. But I'm going to lay these face up. That's how my friend Ollie in Germany taught me, and. And I just really like it that way. My grandmother pretty much just laid them, laid the, the slices down and covered them with a custard so you didn't see them much anyway, but you know, sometimes she covered with a custard, not always. It depends on if she had plenty of eggs and milk to use up and uh, she kind of winged it a lot so anyway this is coming along see it's easy you don't need to be an artist You just kind of fit them in there and and it doesn't make take much to make them look really nice. You know, I, I still have some extra. I think I'm just going to kind of squeeze them in here. If you have less, you can you can of course spread them out. Uh, farther, you know, and so that they you got equal amount of plums all the way around. But if you have extra like I do, you can kind of just squeeze them in there. And it doesn't matter, it'll bake up just fine. I think we're getting a little bit too much there. That one didn't fit in there very good, very well, did it? I can even make kind of a little teeny row in here. And uh, there we go. And we used them all up. All except one. Okay. We have only one more thing left to do after I uh, finish uh, fooling around with these plums to get them to look look right you could do, you, I'm sure you could do better and that the next thing is we're going to make some streusel to go over the top 